Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Siren Zone Gaming. We're going to go ahead and, and resume that Stalker playthrough we started yesterday. Um, I'm excited to be back. Hopefully you guys are excited to be here as well. So let's get started. Uh, I did start doing an interloper uh, single player just to see if I could get any good at it. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm getting my butt kicked. Um, I, my first playthrough dropped me in Hush River Valley and I immediately got eaten by a wolf. Second playthrough I did a little bit better, made it to Pleasant Valley, and then uh, got uh, beat up uh, by the a blizzard actually. I got caught up inside the wrecked plane and then couldn't get out. Sure Froze to death. Cold. So. Alright. Oh, it's foggy. Okay, well we're gonna go back inside and sleep for a little while because I don't really want to come face to face with Fluffy um, and not be prepared. Especially because we have that hatchet, but I don't really want to have to use it yet. Alright. Less foggy? A little bit. Let me see. What's the condition on this axe? So we're at 87%. It's not terrible. But we're going to go ahead and sharpen it, though. So, sharpening your tools makes it more effective. Also just makes it so that they don't break as easily. Because once these things break in-game, they're gone. So, we have to either hope to find another one, or go make one that's a little bit less, um, uh, excuse me, lesser quality. Alright, so we're going to stop at 99%. That 1% is not really worth sharpening it again. And we wasted about 15 minutes. It's a little bit nicer outside. Those wolves are still there. You can see them in the middle there. Right there, right there. So, and there's five of them out there, it looks like today. That might be a rock. Anyway, um, let's see what we can do here. I think since all those wolves are there, we're gonna go ahead and skirt this way and maybe go to the dam and explore the dam. See what's there. Maybe we can find the hunting rifle since it seems to be a persistent spawn there. We are hungry, but we are going to go ahead and, and play the, the starving mechanic of the game. Starve a little bit. It's only going to hurt us uh, about 1% of our health per hour, so it's not really worth wasting our food for. Really, really noisy wolves this morning. Morning? Oh, evening. Never mind. Evening. Just keeping an eye on that one right there, hoping he doesn't get too close. That's why we did go ahead and start crouching. Um, it makes it a little bit harder for them to, to detect you. Um, and if not, at least we'll stop using our stamina in case we need to, to haul us out of here. So I see those cattails there, but I'm going to go ahead and leave them for now. And we're going to keep going this way. I didn't realize how late in the day it was. That might change our plans up a little bit. Just because I don't want to get stuck, you know, walking through the snow in the dark. We're far enough away now. Go ahead and run. Back to our friends, the Bambies. Bambi family. Mama Bambi. Doesn't want to be our friend. Fine. We're a little bit cold, but we should be able to get to the cabins by the dam before we get cold where we need to worry about it. Puppy dog. Hi, puppy dog. Not 
quite what I meant to do, but sure. Hi! Is this rock? You want it? You want it? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I'm just gonna... Oh, all right, well, I didn't mean to do that, but... Pick our torch back up. Because I believe there's one or two more over here. There usually are. Nothing. My fingers feel numb. Yeah, your fingers feel numb. You'll be alright. Do you have gloves on? You have gloves on. Your fingers shouldn't feel numb. There's a dead deer. It might be dinner for us tonight. Those are important. So these birch saplings are going to be um, good for us for arrows later. I'm not going to grab them right this second because it is getting dark. They do take some time. I'd rather waste the time harvesting up the meat on this deer so we have a meal for dinner tonight. So we're going to grab a few of these. I'm going to go ahead and use my axe for this. I might lose my torch. No, okay. It's kind of the lazy way to do it. I should have probably just done it by hand, but it does take longer. We're going to go ahead and conserve matches. Sure. We'll use the, uh, the fire log, because it's heavy. We'll put this out. As to not be wasteful. Um, our... Okay. We can carve off all this meat in about 14 minutes, so we'll take it. Get that cooking for us. That can be our dinner. We will start drawing wolves now. That little smell indicator at the top tells me that we are stinky. Us being stinky means we're going to draw in more predators. We don't really want more predators. They're the kind of friends we don't like to keep around. While those are cooking... Can I get some of these? No, it'll take too long. If this carcass weren't frozen, I could do it by hand. That's what we're going to get from that deer, and it feels like there's a blizzard coming in. Now we're really cold, we've overstayed our welcome here. I'm going to come back for this hide, because I think this fire is going to keep getting blown out, so we're going to leave it, get ourselves to the dam. Can I eat that piece of meat? Yes. Okay. I just don't want it all in me. So we're either eating it or leaving it.
hear you. Oh, there you are. Hi. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. We didn't start the fire. Oh, there's a bunny rabbit. Hi, bunny rabbits. No, you're not supposed to run away. You're supposed to be bait. There you are. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. So the reason I'm not going for a torch this time is I think it'll get blown out immediately. I don't really want that. So there are some shacks over... This is not where I thought I was. Okay. Well, we're gonna... Run up in here then. Hope he loses interest. Um, these wolves will sometimes get sidetracked and go for some wildlife. The other thing you can do is sometimes if you can get up high... There's an arrow. They will get uh, nervous and run away. See? Bye! Bye, Wolfie. So, got some stuff here. More antiseptic, some food, some rifle ammunition, that's nice. Now we just need to find the rifle. Can I put a fire in here? No, I'm really missing to make a fire. Tinder. Okay, make some tinder. I do need to warm up. So. Let's see. Losing health. We're not far from the dam. Yeah, but I'll let me put this here, are you? Okay. Alright, well. We're moving then. I was hoping. There's a deer here, so we'll come back for that. Is there, do I see an arrow? Sticking out of it? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, we're walking slow because we're walking into the wind. Okay. Wow. It's a deer. Some more saplings here, too. That'll be nice. And there's the bridge for the dam. That's where we're trying to go. It's not quite where I thought I was when we came out with the wolf, but this is where I was trying to be. So, grab these up. Take the health damage for them. They're, they're important. Get them curing. We'll have some, some arrows ready to go. And they take, I believe it's three days in-game to cure, so we do want to get them on the ground. Because every day counts on this playthrough. Oh, hi! Alright. Guess we're going to play, huh? I'm using the cardboard matches for this, too. I find that they're a little bit harder to use to start a fire. So I'd rather use them with a torch. Bye, Fluffy. Okay, bye. And we are shivering because we are cold. I don't know if you noticed that on the aim there. That does happen. Now that he's in full run mode, he may convert back and start trying to attack us. More likely, though, if I charge at him, they tend to keep running. I have had it backfire once or twice, but we are trying to get where he is, so I'd rather shoo him off from where we're going as much as possible. And now that it's done... Oh, he's over there now. Go ahead and kick that volume back up again. Now that it's not closer to Because I'm sure you would rather hear the game volume than me. Thought about grabbing those mushrooms, but we're just gonna get tucked inside instead. It's it's cold. I'm starting to hurt, so. Alright, let's see what we have here. So, a book, use that. Old bedrolls. Some scrap metal. These are good for if you need to repair your clothing. They give you a good amount of cloth. Um, we do need a hunting knife, though, so we can't break it down now. But we may come back for that later. They tend to forget when they're there. Um, could use the endnote system on the game, but cloth is so plentiful if you know where to look that you almost don't need it, but those are good in a pinch. Um, kind of strike me out here. There's a box. 
With the update, they did move some of the item spawns. So the things that we are used to having in certain places, they aren't guaranteed to spawn there anymore. So it does slow down looting a little bit. Not a whole lot going on here. Oh, see, that's why we look. Stump remover, it's good for making ammo. We probably won't use it, but go ahead and leave it at the cabin or in the dam. Stump remover is used to make gunpowder, so it's used to make ammo. Combine that and uh, the bags of, I think it's fertilizer. Make gunpowder that way with some charcoal. dark in here. Cool. Might light a torch in here just so you guys can see what's going on. We've got a good amount of matches, so... It's a little bit wasteful, but, you know, it's easier on my eyes, so I'm sure it's easier on yours. And we don't have a pry bar yet, so in order to open these locked lockers, you need a pry bar. So we'll have to come back for that. See? Some cloth. A hat. Tomato soup. And that looks to be it, unfortunately. I'm going, since we have the torch in hand, I'm just going to run to the other cabin and, and see that I didn't miss anything. I was just going to wait until it got light out, but I'll get while the getting's good. Mm, some spray paint. I if I can drop any of this gear. Hoping I missed something, but that's not what I was hoping to miss. Okay. Sometimes they do hide stuff in these lockers or next to them, beside them, things like that. A ton of metal here if I had a hacksaw. So. No, even blindly stumbling through it, looks like we got everything. I keep thinking this cup is something. We're going to go ahead and shimmy into the dam. It's a little bit safer there. So these scrawled messages have to do with the new mementos. Um, they are kind of helpful guides for new players as well. Um, tells them where things are that they might want to visit, things like that, so super helpful. It's worth looking under the, the visors now, there used to be nothing that spawned under there, but sometimes there's there's tips or keys for things you couldn't ordinarily get without actually finding those tips or keys. So they're not persistent, I think, unless you find the, the notes. And we just hit exhaustion, so we need to lay down somewhere. In we go. It's a goddamn freezing. Got a rifle cartridge. Nice. We're not losing our torch, so we're gonna go ahead and daisy chain these and and light. And I'll have another torch. Alright. And make another one in this time. Probably not. If this does go out, yeah, it did. We're just gonna sleep here. Oh, I'm starving. 
You're not starving. You have food. Take that off. We're just going to sleep here until it's daytime. Yeah, we have the calories to do that many hours. Just because I want to regen health. Eat these ketchup chips too. It's going to be a little bit over on calories that I need, but it means I can sleep through 10 hours. Let's do it. So, we are... God, I need anything right about now. Almost daytime. Oh, we have guts on us, that's why we're stinky. That's actually probably why that second wolf charged us, is because we are stinky. See, we have one scent bar here. Um, otherwise not doing too bad, I wish we had some better clothing. But... All in all, not doing too bad. Wish we could find some shoes. There are usually a pair of boots in here somewhere. So, I'm gonna sleep for another two hours and we'll start exploring the dam. Alright, now it's daytime. We got all of our health back. And we can go. We'll pick up this torch, because if we tear it down later, we get a stick back from it, so... Um, you know, recycle and all that. I don't want that. Sounds like it's blizzarding outside. Good thing we tucked in. file cabinets are not usually worth the time. Literally as soon as I say that though. I find something. Every time. See? See? I doubt it. And then they give me chips. And sprain risk is just basically we have a lot of weight on us right now. It means we're gonna have to sit down and do some inventory management shortly. This does not help with inventory management <laughs> when I find those. Because I don't want to lose the lamp oil we can't always make more lamp oil if we ever need to you ironically get some lamp oil from fishing and cooking fish so we'll leave it behind this is a good find if we can find leather to fix them so these are one of the better sets of gloves in the game they're kind of warm but they are actually very protective so still don't have a, a pry bar There is sometimes one that spawns in here, so we'll hope for that. Um, grab some 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 potable toilet water. Right Yum, toilet more. water. More spray paint. See, see. Usually have some boots in here. They're a little bit rough, but we have the leather to repair them. So tonight, before we go to bed, we'll go ahead and repair that stuff up. There okay quality. Actually, the shoes we were wearing were better, but once we repair them, they'll be better. So, in here, it's fine. Now this is a rifle cartridge. They started stashing those in odd places, I have noticed. Take more toilet water. We'll drop off what we can't carry. Water is pretty heavy. Rifle ammunition. Hoping that means the game intends us to give us a rifle here. Send it 
soda. See? It's filing cabinets. Tend not to be worth it. If we were freezing, we would skip these, but it's pretty toasty in here. So I don't mind spending the time. These wires on the ground in here, um, they will kill you during an aurora. You'll see them spark and things like that. If you step on them, you'll get electrical burns and die. Um, if you're not careful. So, during an aurora, I don't recommend walking around this dam. Find yourself somewhere to sit down and plop your butt for the night. This will come in handy. Stem. This is nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Perfect. So far, not super exciting. Another Take accelerant. It. A flare. That'll be nice. Keep the wolves away. They're nice because when it's windy out, the wind will blow your torch out. So it makes that, that torch and, and rock trick a little bit tricky. But when the wind is blowing, you can use a flare and it won't get blown out. Okay. So four, sixteen. Opened it. Hopefully, there's something what good. Is this? Useless. Okay. Sure. No. All right. Fine. Be that way. Sometimes you can get a good uh, a good jacket out of that. Safe. Or you used to be able to, I guess I should say. Loot tables have changed. Into the belly of the beast we go. Put a second pair of jeans on. And those locked. Okay. Hot air. So. Down we go. I love the detail they put into these buildings. It's nice. Um, in my last playthrough, there was a body here that was, yep, invisible. Still invisible. Last time he had some good stuff on him, though. Oh well. Invisibob. Here's where it gets fun. So there is an indoor burn barrel here. I'm gonna drop some of my firewood here to offload some weight. Drop my sticks. Drop this tinder. Just to make it easier to navigate around. We have the rest of the day to explore. We're just going to drop off some of the heavy stuff. Just to get us underweight. It makes it easier to move. Um, and then we'll drop our birch saplings here. We have ten of them. So you get, I believe it's three shafts per sapling. So, got about thirty uh, shafts sitting right there waiting for, waiting for tips and waiting for feathers. Now we can either get tips from breaking down arrows that we find, if the condition's low enough, um, or we can go make them. Nothing 
up here? Sometimes there is. Usually worth taking a peek. Especially with the new loot system. Who knows where they stash things now? Complain. I wish it were uh, a hunting knife, though. So down here is one of the spawn points for the rifle. I've seen it spawn uh, back in this corner here. Um, so it's a good, uh, good place to keep an eye out. It's not here. Nobody needs this anymore. Um, there's a couple other places it can spawn. But because the Vaughn rifle is gray, it does sometimes tend to blend in. But it seems like it's a it's a pretty guaranteed spawn in this dam somewhere. So, we just need to find out where. This looks handy. Some cloth for us. All right. So, Not bad, but not quite what I was hoping for. story building that they do in this game. Like, what was this poor sap down here shooting at? I mean, he clearly didn't make it. Ah, oh, this is great. Cool. Hoping that was the rifle. It looks a bit like a broom sometimes. But alas, it's an actual broom. Alright. Should have thrown those guts down. Oh well, there's no wolves in here. That's nice. I 
No, I keep double checking spots I've checked. I'm just uh, a little bit of an airhead sometimes. Uh, I'll be honest. And I forget that I've looked places. And sometimes you find things like this when you look a second time. Or closely Perfect. a first time. This is lovely. This is fantastic. They're getting heavy again, though. It's very easy to get overburdened in this game. Especially when your toxic trait is that you have to collect everything you find. Not saying who that might be, but this stuff will come in handy. I don't know how to leave things behind. Because I might need it. Or I might need another one. You don't know. Nobody needs this anymore. I'm the person that dies in horror games because I might need the thing, and I go back for it. And then the bad guy's there, and he slits my throat. The end. End of story. It wasn't worth it. Whatever it was, it wasn't worth it. So. The end. Dead me. Are you gonna make a liar out of me, game? Is there not gonna be a rifle on this dam? Look, more sneakers. This will come in handy. Or running shoes, I suppose. Tennis shoes, I think the other word is for it. Lantern field, and we know what to do with. Not a bad problem to have, though. It just means we're gonna leave some oh. behind. <sighs> Ooh, nice. Walking around here looking like a certified badass. Rather red inside. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And a book. We're gonna leave a book behind because the books are heavy. We already have a few. And you can't read those ones, so. Literally just heavy. Snow and some soda, and if we could find some alcohol, we'd be good. Who needs to be cohesive? Coherent? Coherent. I meant what I said. I said what I meant. Flare. This memento box here, this is what I was talking about. So these memento boxes. Need a key to open it. Didn't find the key. I'll forget it's here. But I have found other memento keys, and it's not for this box, so... I'm not sure where this one spawns, but I've never been able to open it. And I didn't want to Google it and ruin it, so... Sometimes the rifle can spawn here. Not the case, it seems. So, guys, if I miss the rifle anywhere, go ahead and throw it in the comments section for me with a timestamp so I can go back and look at it, and I will run and grab it. Next episode. 
Uh, I'm not seeing it. I'll take a second glance once I head back up. But those are the spots that I know of that it spawns, and I haven't seen it. So maybe developers are like, hee hee, it doesn't actually always spawn here, just most of the time. Those that know me know that open drawers like that drive me nuts. That glitch was not cool. I'm watching you. Anyway, so, appears there's no rifle. I thought that was another hatchet. Okay. Well, let's see, what can I get rid of? Because I am walking a little slow now. Well, we have two bedrolls, I don't think we need those. Harvest these up real quick. Because they weigh a little bit less when they're broken down. sit down and get rid of some of these clothes. I might do that off camera so you guys don't have to, to watch me break the clothes down. It tends to be a little bit boring. But I'll do it. Um, we'll leave some of this antiseptic and some of these uh, supplies behind. We have a lot of painkillers like I thought we were going to. Only one pack of antibiotics. We can make tea. And we have these books. I might eat since we have so much food and read these books too off camera. Nobody wants to watch me read. It's a little bit boring. So, we'll do that. That'll be the only thing I do off camera for you guys. So, that way you guys don't have to watch it, but I can do it. So, we're getting a little bit later in the stream, so we're gonna head back to that burn barrel and call it a day, I think, for tonight. Try to keep these under an hour for people. That way it's not too much of a commitment. I appreciate you guys watching. And I would run. Oh, I can run. Okay. Great. Yeah, if you see that rifle anywhere, uh, yep. Sh shout out at me. Now I will go back and get it happily. Um, but I am thinking. Oh! Rifle cartridge. Needs this I missed. I'm happy to go back and look. You can just throw a timestamp so you don't have to try to instruct me where to go. I know that can get a little frustrating. So. I realize now that I missed an excellent pun opportunity. So I'm gonna take it now. Instead of calling him Inviso Bob, we're gonna call him Inviso Bill. Pause for the groping. It's the type of humor you signed up for, folks. Sorry, not sorry. Alright, we've arrived back at our burn barrel. Let's see. I'm just 
gonna scan around here one last time. Drop some stuff first, because I'm heavy. Hmm. Make a pile of clothes. Is there anything we can put on? Yes, there is, actually. Yeah, that one's still better. So the gloves we're wearing are warmer than these leather ones, but once we repair them, they will actually be warmer, probably. Oh, okay. And we failed. Aha! Again! See if these are better. These are 0.7. These are 1.8. So they are warmer. I believe they're more wind resistant. A little bit. But they also offer more protection, which keeps me from getting bit up when I get attacked by wolves later. So we're gonna wear those. And these mittens are a little bit more water resistant. Um, as you'll see, there's 5% there, um, but for me, not as huge of a deal. We try not to get wet as much as we can. Um, you can always get dried off at the fire. So we have all of this crap that's really heavy. We're gonna go ahead and dump. But guys, I am gonna go ahead and explore the dam off camera while I read and do those other things. Um, if you liked what you're seeing, feel free to hit that like button for me. It, it helps out a lot. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, Thanks for joining our adventure time today, and go ahead and keep making your own adventures. I will uh, see you later, and hope you have a lovely day. Bye-bye!